Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be memory planning my spread for August 6th through August 12th and this week is so bittersweet for me because um, this was the week that we were on our summer road trip to Montana. So we got there on Thursday and it was so much fun. This entire road trip was just the best experience but also um, this week marks the last week of summer break for me. I started work on Monday the 13th so right after we got back from our trip and so yeah just a lot of mixed emotions of this is so amazing and so fun but also realizing that it was the end of summer um, but anyways I have the most perfect kit for this week this is from shop Jessica hearts and it's called wilderness these full boxes are everything I mean this is like perfect for Montana especially this box right here and then this one where it's kind of like a mountain and the lake this was almost the exact view that we had um, at the wedding that we were at there so anyways we have eight full boxes here um, we have the half boxes and quarter boxes as well as a weekend banner on this page we have the headers little thing sidebar tracker um, a quarter box and then some three heart checklists we've got the bottom washi and some functional items like flags happy mail stickers some icons etc and then this last sheet I just picked up separately so it wasn't part of the kit but I felt like the colors match pretty well and I can pull in a lot of these quarter boxes if I don't have enough in the kit so yeah I just picked this up as a mini kit and that's why there's only three sheets plus the extra four full boxes, which I love that she does this because I do like having all eight full boxes for the week, but I just don't need everything that comes in a full kit. So um, without further ado, I really want to get started. I have been looking forward to planning this week for so long and it's finally here. So I'm going to start with, of course, my bottom washi and then I will um, work from there. While I'm putting down my bottom washi, I just want to let you guys know that I'm planning to put some pictures from our road trip at the end of this video because Montana was so amazingly beautiful. It had the most gorgeous scenery and I would just love to share that with you guys. And also it does really look a lot like the photos in this kit. So I just thought it'd be really fun to share that if any of you are interested in sticking around. Uh, moving on to my sidebar. So I decided to put the quote box as my top corner box, of course, and then I whited out the flags on my planner and put down some flags that came in the kit. For the rest of the sidebar, I put down a strip of washi with the habit tracker that came in the kit, and then um, I put down a dinner's header with the Monday through Sunday tracker for my dinners, and then at the bottom, I used a strip of washi with a happy moment sticker from Paper and Milk and decided to leave that space blank to fill out all my happy memories. I do end up switching this around later on, and I can't remember why, but um, I decided I wanted the happy moments to be in the middle. So on Monday, I first put down a today header and then a quarter box and then like I mentioned I just go back and fix my sidebar so I put the happy moments in the center and then the dinners at the bottom. Moving back to Monday, I originally put down this suitcase sticker from Once More With Love to mark that we were heading out of Ashland that morning. We had spent the night there and we were heading out for Crater Lake in the morning. And so underneath that, I had to get some coffee because I was super tired that morning. The coffee sticker is from Moonlight Paper Co. And then the Coffee Monday text sticker is from Paper and Milk. I put down a half box and then I think I found this little camper on the same Once More With Love travel sheet and it was so perfect because when we stayed in Ashland, our Airbnb was this camper that was in somebody's backyard. So it was perfect to use that sticker. And then that morning we went to Crater Lake, which was absolutely amazing. I'll include pictures from that. It was so beautiful despite it being kind of a smoky day. Um, so I wrote that on the half box with my Tombow Fudunosuke pen and then I placed down a little location heart sticker from Hazel sticker. I placed down the full box that kind of reminded me of Crater Lake except without the lake and um, underneath that I put down a quarter box that came in the kit with a beer sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams because on our drive up to Portland we stopped by Bend, Oregon and um, had some lunch and beer at Deschutes Brewery so that was a nice little stop and then we made it to Portland that night it was kind of late by the time we got in I think it was about 9 p.m. Um, so I used a little house icon to mark that at the end of the night we went and grabbed dinner with our friend who lives in Portland um, we got to hang out with him the whole time that we were there which is awesome because we hadn't seen him in forever so for dinner I put down some skewer stickers from plans with Vanessa on Tuesday morning, we walked to a cafe that was near our Airbnb, and um, the coffee sticker that I placed down is from Planning in Mint. 
I then put down the full box with a cup of coffee, which I thought was perfect for marking Portland. And then I used a flag with an asterisk icon to mark where we got lunch. And it was actually at this like food truck place. And I think Portland is pretty well known for their food trucks. I guess they're not really trucks because they're not on wheels, but um, it's basically served out of what looks like a truck. And so um, that was a really fun experience. And then I used a quarter box with a shopping girl sticker from Little Star Plans because we just shopped around downtown. Um, um, and then I used a today header with a three herd checklist to mark some of the places that we went. Um, we again met up with a friend who lives in Portland. So we went and checked out a couple breweries and then went to a like video game arcade bar, which was really fun. And we just played some arcade games there. So that was a good time. We had tacos for dinner that night. Yay for Taco Tuesday. So the taco sticker that I put down is from um, Very Cute Designs. And then I also put down a beer sticker from Once More With Love. Oh, and the beer sticker on the heart checklist is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. On Wednesday, I started by putting the full box at the bottom just because I knew that's where I wanted it, and then I moved back to the top. So first, I put down a to-do header. Um, we went to another cafe that morning. This was our last morning in Portland before we were heading to our next stop. Um, the coffee sticker is from Chasing Chelsea. I then used a half box to mark that we drove up to Seattle. This was actually a pretty short drive. It was like maybe three hours, so it was not bad at all. Um, the car sticker is from Happy Dia Stickers. And then once we got to Seattle, we were actually staying at a friend's place instead of an Airbnb. So I marked that with a little things. And then I put down a today header with a two heart checklist. Um, when we were in Seattle, we met up with another friend who lives there. And she's my friend from high school, so it was really fun to see her and catch up. Um, I I put down a beer sticker from Sunset Sticker Co. to mark the breweries that we went to. And then we got dinner at this really good steak Mexican restaurant. It was amazing. So I, it was perfect because I had these steak stickers from Happy Dia Stickers. And so I placed that down to mark our dinner. And then after dinner, we went over to my friend's place. And um, she has a cat who is amazing. He loves to be outdoors and just like hang out with people outside. Like my friend takes him to restaurants and the beach and everything and he's just super chill. So I put that on a quarter box with a cat sticker from Once More With Love. I then moved on to Thursday. So I started by putting down a today header at the top and then I used a quarter box with a baking girl sticker from Toffee Bananas to mark that my friend actually made breakfast that morning. Um, so she was actually heading to Montana as well. So we were able to drive to Montana together and her and her boyfriend had gotten in really late the night before. So anyways, we got to see them in the morning. Um, I used another location heart sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that we drove first from Seattle to Spokane where we stopped to get some lunch and go to Costco so we got some Korean food for lunch and I used a tofu bowl sticker from Hazel sticker to mark that and then I used a little things to mark our Costco trip we decided to um, grab some things that we might need for the next few days in Montana and um, then I put down a full box and on the full box I put that we we finally made it to our last stop in Montana and I chose that one for Thursday because it reminded me the most most of Montana and I just thought that was so perfect. Um, anyways, when I was looking at Thursday, I realized that I used like my normal handwriting all day long and so I really wanted to incorporate some hand lettering in there. So I ended up brush lettering Costco on another little thing sticker. When we got to Montana, we had to get ready real quick because we were meeting up with my friend who was getting married and a bunch of her friends that were going to a bar nearby. So I put that on a half box and then the beer sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I just marked the place that we went to. So after the bars, a bunch of people decided to come over to our place. So in Montana, we actually rented a large Airbnb and stayed there with a group of friends that were also going to the wedding. Um, so that was really fun and we had um, quite a bit of space so people decided to come over and check it out. Um, I used a drunk munchkin from Once More With Love because that's kind of how I felt that night. And then I also pulled in a heart arrow sticker from Mandy Dreams. On Friday, I started by putting down a full box at the top, and then I used a quarter box with a 
um, sleeping mask sticker from White Deer Stationery to mark that we had a pretty lazy morning. Many of us were hung over, so we were just kind of moving slow. Um, then we finally got ready around noon, and I used a flag to mark that. On Saturday, we did a river float, which was super fun. So basically, a large group of us like floated down the river on these large tubes, um, and we had beer and just kind of chatted and enjoyed the sunshine and everything. So it was lovely, but the water was so cold, so I almost didn't make it in because I do not like adjust well to cold water and I was just like kind of freezing for the first 30 minutes um, but eventually it was fine so it ended up being really fun the sunglasses sticker is from hazel sticker and then after our float we did have to um, get ready really quick because that night was like the welcome party for the bride and groom so everyone went up to a bar that was like up in the mountains and the view there was incredible um, but anyways i put that on a quarter box um, while we were there we did do some barbecuing i didn't personally barbecue but we had barbecue so i found this barbecue sticker from um, Joyful Planner that, that came in a freebie. And at the end of the night, once we got back to our Airbnb, um, my friends and I decided to play some games. So I used a game night sticker from Paper and Milk. On Saturday, I again started from the bottom because I knew I wanted that full box there. I specifically chose that box for Saturday because that view really reminded me of the wedding and I'll definitely include a picture from that so you guys can see it. But then I moved to the top of the weekend. I placed down some washi strips on Saturday and Sunday and then put down the weekend banner. On Saturday, my friend and I decided to make tacos for our house and so um, I used a quarter box with a taco sticker from Plans with Vanessa. We then played this game called Spyfall for a little bit, so I put that on a little things. And then I found this super cute sticker that says Fun at the Lake. That is from Bubba Bear Studios. So on Saturday, we decided to go out on the lake that was like right on our Airbnb. So we were actually able to get in the lake from our backyard. And so that was pretty cool. We went out on kayaks and paddle boards, and that was super fun. I got to do both. Um, but anyways, when we got home, we napped. So I used a nap time sticker, um, and I can't remember which shop that is from. So I'll link it down below if I remember. I placed on a half box that I thought would be perfect to mark the wedding. And so I used a gold foil sticker from Clever Gal Crafts and then just put the wedding hashtag in the half box. The wedding was so fun and it was so beautiful. They had this outdoor dance floor with string lights and amazing barbecue for dinner. They had bonfires by the lake. It was like absolutely gorgeous and so perfect. So on Sunday, we had to leave Montana and go home. So that was really sad. I put down a half box with a crying girl from Artbox stickers to mark that it was so sad to leave. And then under that, I placed down a full box. Um, we were flying out of Spokane. We weren't able to road trip back because um, I started work the next day so we did have to fly home we stopped by Spokane for some lunch and I used a um, location heart sticker from I think that's from Sunset Sticker Co and then for our flight back I put down a half box and used an airplane from Hazel sticker and on the box I just put down the airports that we left from and then the one we flew into by the time we got home that night it was really late because we did have a layover and so um, we went out and got food really quick. I used a taco sticker to mark my Mediterranean food that I got because I don't have any stickers for that. And then at the bottom, I put down a heart icon and brush lettered home to mark that we finally made it home after um, a long trip away. So that is it for my summer, you guys. I can't believe I'm saying this. It feels like it went by in the blink of an eye. I honestly can't believe it's over already, but I had the best time, so it was all good. So like you saw, I'm just filling out my sidebar as the last thing I usually do. Um, but this week, I actually found these date covers that I thought would go really well with this kit. These are from Honeydew Paper Shop, and it came with a Harry Potter kit that I used. I, for some reason, decided not to use it um, when I used that kit, so I had them left over, and I found them in my collection and thought, oh my gosh, these are so perfect to pull in. So I go ahead and place all of those down. And now I'm just showing you the stickers that I have left in the kit. I definitely used a lot since this was such a small kit, but as you can see, I still have leftovers. So even mini kits are hard for me to use up completely, but I'm just gonna add it to my leftover stash and hold a giveaway um, sometime soon. So be on the lookout for that. 
Anyways, thank you so much for watching and for joining me on this summer adventure through my planner. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it's so beautiful. Like seeing this spread makes me so incredibly happy. You have no idea. Like it reminds me of the trip and I just feel like so much peace and happiness when I look at it. So um, yeah, I hope that gets conveyed. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to put some pictures at the end of this video. So stay tuned if you would like to see some of those. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.